It's my pleasure to introduce Ella Schofer-Wolf. <laughs> Ella Schofer-Wolf is a Bay Area-based German-American writer, artist, and curator. Her work is a primarily linguistic inquiry focusing on the intersections between language and the body, and how these play out in relationship with the visual arts, performance, and digital media. Along with her personal art practice, she is a co-founder of Daughter's Tongue Writing Coalition, an artist at the Navajo Mountain Boarding School Project, and co-curates the Orange Box and the Room Galleries. Welcome, Ella. Hello. <laughs> um, I have a lot of people to thank, but because I'm a big fan of peer-to-peer -peer learning, I'm going to focus my gratitude on the people I learn from that are in my community of cohort. So everyone in my classes, and then of course specifically my collaborators, Deshara and Grace, Magdalena and Ryan, I'm so grateful that you teach me every day. And I'm writing reading things I'm writing about. <laughs> when I first got to CCA, I came with a very different emotional and physical narrative than what I'm leaving with. So I'm going to kind of walk you through this with some excerpts from my thesis. And I'm going to start with a few love poems that started with this. I know many things I cannot say. I love you less than tomorrow. The body is no longer my own, but one of longing. Longing to materialize in any shape you desire. What do you desire? Your lack of response immobilizes and I become waiting. I use language to push the sentence across the page, to press time forward. But the sign keeps returning to its own emptiness a structure filled with a system of knowing my body had become so I could know you, a house, an entire civilization. I go to the body. I count every hair. I shave myself and watch it grow back. My body tells me nothing. No ideas but in things, so I put memory in places. They move into the shapes of words and the words insist upon themselves. Here's a memory. I have none. When you left me with our words framed and hung and took our language, I became a house full of photographs. All the words my mouth could not become because grief soaks the tongue to the end of becoming. I'll be as straightforward as possible. I did not hate language before I met you. Pain runs its hands along words, and these notes are on continuing, but they do not move. And I put memory into places. How pathetic to mourn, howling flesh toward sentimentality. Too rigid for this kind of pain, unlike trees when the storm hits, the body snaps, scattered along. I was once an artist, and now I am a fraudulent form. And because I have not considered myself, I don't know who I am. And because I have not been writing regularly, because I have thoughts but no process, my language crumbles and is overgrown. And my heart collects skulls, becomes skulls, and collects skulls, and they disintegrate more eventually than flesh. Flowers flower, and the sky presses down on the earth. When I say that there are those who survive and there are those who don't, I mean that while some speak of light, others speak of mercy. A, a new universe is as likely as an old one. My body is heavy, but less than tomorrow, and I know many things I cannot say. And here are my notes on writing, that this is not poetry to me. How I take corners and write things out, getting older and only older, measure the number by value only in order to measure a value to be desperate, to be a body that considers itself disintegrating, to constantly locate points of pain and possible infection, to remember watching bugs run down your eyelids and through your arms, 
to hear things like forever and remember being very young when you hear them, to be young in a body that sags and is not desirable, to be impossible to be desired, to be impossible, to measure the body by value in order to measure its periphery, to hand over the measurements when you can't locate them. This is not poetry to me. To write things out like disassociation and grief and total emptiness, to fill these words with meaning through the linguistic process of signification, to point and point again to letters, to attempt to signify a lack, is not poetry to me. And finger harder pouring inside like inside, and inside like inside, and inside like inside, like inside like the word itself becomes itself, and don't tell me the word isn't also an image, or that my body doesn't body through language, to constantly locate points of infection, even in the process of repetition that makes you glaze over, where the process of signification moves from the word to how one follows the next, and now you're skimming over inside. To measure the value through corners like it can fit in an elbow, to sag over signs, and to never write again. And here are my afterthoughts. That the weight of the world is what we hang on it. Reconsider the word touch, the body and language at their limits. Consider touch at its limits. Make everything permeable. Make yourself permeable. If you don't change, you will die. And if you change, you will die anyway. Thank you. <laughs>